Hi, my name is Sophie Baffle. I'm a junior at SCUT. And this is my poem titled, Golden People. Beautiful people aren't fashioned in gold and silver. They're forged in guilt and sorrow, as many would know, because they've been broken time and time again. But where those dark cracks endlessly stretch like a long paved road that hasn't quite led home yet, when the darkness owns the body and spirit, in my raw places, I choose to plant seeds of kindness. The seeds took root in me, and I was finally worth something of value. They grew into the most exquisite flowers that I be cannot begin to comprehend. Because to heal is to grow stronger. Sometimes. <laughs> But there are still days where I feel unfamiliar in my own skin because all the flowers I spent so much time growing then decided on their own they'd rather be dead than growing in my chaotic garden as the spiral starts over and over and over again. Depression isn't just deep, dark that contains scary monsters from under our beds and in our closets. It's ups and downs and sideways, and I can't even tell you what way that is. I'm on an endless quest that someone else decided to send me on, and I can't find the ending. And they say, maybe sunshine is only meant for those who can't learn to dance in the rain. Now I'm still twisting my tango steps as the thunder clashes above my head. My only symphony, but I promise I'm trying. They assure me that sunshine all the time makes a desert, but their Bible told me rainstorms all the time make a flood, a raging current that drowns out the world until I have to start from scratch because I can't remember who I was. There are no more remnants of the girl who dreamed of touching the stars, but now I can hope of finding constellations in a different way. I want to taste the stars because nothing can be worse than the flavor of worthlessness. Because some people have made it very clear that I am not worthy of being loved, even when I was that little girl. When will I be worth my weight in gold? Countless hours of striving for perfection were never enough. It would have taken one hand to just reach out and hold when the flood hit. Isn't it funny how in a field of golden people clicking and claiming to understand, hashtag relatable, hashtag retweet, not a single one noticed me drowning 